This question says plot points. So x is dependent on t, y is also dependent on t. What are we going to do? We're going to use a table. So we are using a table. So in using a table, you have x, y, and t. Both of them are dependent on t. Let us have t as the parameter, then x, and then y. We're going to do the computation. For example, if t is equal to 0, your x becomes 2 times 0 plus 4, which is 4. And at time, or at angle, or at any parameter, which is 0, it might represent something in physics or not your y becomes a negative one. So this is one of the positions of the particle on the curve, or we can interpret it based on the question or just the abstract one. So here we can start graphing this guy. Here you have x and you have your y. So four and negative one, one, two, three, four, and negative one, this is the very first point Suppose I plug in another t value, like 1. If t is equal to 1, my x becomes 6, and my y becomes 0. So 6 and 0. Let me continue this. 5 and 6. 6 and 0. You can plug in more values, am I right? You can, for example, plug in negative 1. If I plug in negative 1, it becomes 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2 plus 4, which is 2. And my y becomes negative 2. So here you have 2 and negative 2. 2 and negative 2. The behavior is going to be a line. So this guy is a line which is moving in increasing direction. So this parametric equation represents a line. So at the end of your work, I'm write down something. This parametric equation represents an increasing line. If you have color papers or color markers, please use them. Why not? Make it more pretty. What else you could do? In another step, you could take t to be y plus 1 and substitute that over there. So note that. Here's a note for you. This is an important note. You can take x, which is 2 times t plus 4, and from the second equation, t is y plus 1. Just substitute this guy here. So x becomes 2y plus 2 plus 4, or x is 2y plus 6. So basically, you have an increasing line. 2y is x minus 6, or y is a half x minus 3. Slope of the line is a half, and the y-intercept is negative 3. So either showing the algebra, or using T to graph what you have here. Let me make sure the focus is okay so you can see the right hand side easier. 